Today, let us revise the addition facts. We already know the term addition. Do you know the terms used for the numbers in an addition? The numbers that we add are called addends. And the answer we get after adding the numbers is called sum. Here, 235 and 341 are addends. And 576 is the sum. Now, let us revise the properties of addition. There are three properties of addition. They are 1. Order property of addition 2. Grouping property of addition 3. Zero property of addition Let us start with the first property of addition. Order property of addition Let us take the numbers 182 and 316. When we add 182 and 316, we get the sum 498. Now, let us change the order of add-ends. Let us add 316 and 182. Again, we get the sum 498. Hence, 182 plus 316 is equal to 316 plus 182. Thus, we know that changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. We can say addition is commutative. Grouping property of addition. Look at the numbers 40, 50 and 20. Let us add them. First, we will add the numbers 40 and 50. We get the sum 90. Now we add 20 to 90 and get the final answer 110. Now let us see what answer we will get if we add 50 and 20 first. We get 50 plus 20 equal to 70 and 40 plus 70 gives the final answer 110. Thus, when adding three numbers, we can add any two numbers first. We say addition is associative. Zero property of addition. Let us take the numbers 315 and 0. If we add 315 to 0, we get the sum 315. And even if we add 0 to 315, we get the sum 315. This tells us that when 0 is one of the two addends, then the sum is equal to the non-zero addend. Now that we have revised the addition properties, we will begin with adding numbers tomorrow. Bye till then.